Salutations YouTube community, this is the Average Johnny coming back to you with a tutorial to help you guys install mods onto the Sims and Tinder Run. Now this video was actually requested by fellow YouTuber The Average Brandon. Thank you for making this video request and now I feel like I can actually do something useful for once on this channel and that is to help you guys uh, install mods onto the Sims and Tinder Run. I know there's a number of users that still uh, have the PC version but might not know how to implement the mods so I will be teaching you guys how to do that today from uh, installing the mod launcher from actually putting the mods themselves and let's get right into it so first thing you want to do is you want to go onto this website this is on donut team you can easily look it up on Google donut team or Lucas mod launcher and it'll it'll usually be like the first result and then you can just click on the link and it should take you to this page which would be the latest version right now the current one is 1.24 but of course that can change at, on any other day uh, as of right now we're gonna launch download this file It'll be Lucas Mod Launcher 1.24. Once it finishes downloading, you're gonna head over to uh, find out where your downloads is, where wherever that may be. I don't know. Everyone has their own different uh, mod files, uh, downloaded files. So there we go. We're gonna head over to the Mod Launcher, and you're gonna want to extract all the files. After you've extracted that, it's gonna open in a new window. I'm gonna close all this stuff up. It's not important. Let's fix the messing. Now you can head over to the Lucas Mod Launcher. Uh, so if you get this message, you can click more info, hit run anyway. It's going gonna, it's gonna to read it like some sort of potentially dangerous thing, but that's only because it's from an independent uh, creator. Usually, uh, they, usually they only uh, accept certified uh, Windows applications. However, this one will not do anything to your computer. I promise it won't. And if it does, then uh, sorry. Too bad. <laughs> uh, however, it should not do anything bad to your computer unless you have like a really bad one. I, I doubt it. But all right. So now we have all this stuff open. Uh, these are basically where all the mods will be at right here. This is where usually all the mods will appear. But because I don't have any in my folder right now is the reason why we don't see any. So what we're going to do is we are going to install the mods. The way you do that, once again, you want to hit it to Donut Team. And this is usually their home page. This is the, the, the home page right now. This is the mod that they're using. If you want to find more mods, you would typically want to go, you can go to downloads, but honestly, that's like the least effective way that I found mods. The way I do is I go into community and you wanted to look up any uh, forum posts that may include a new mod of any kind. Usually there's a bunch of whole new ones that people be uploading. And you could also, I believe there's a way to search all, search them up. However, once you find the mod that you want, uh, I'm just going to use the one from the home page as an example. I am going to be using Donut Mod pub, uh, 4 public beta. So you just want to go ahead and hit download. And of course, you're going to want to download the latest, uh, whatever latest version of the mod that they have. So uh, once again, you're going to save the file. Head back to your downloads. Now that you see it's over here, it's, uh, I believe it's not finished. Okay, once it finishes, yeah, it should just be this file, this zip file. Now you're going to hit extract all, extract, and it should extract all the files accordingly. And now you're going to be left with this .lm file. Now this is usually the most important one. Uh, I don't know if some other mods will have additional like other files on them. But however, this one is just the only one that you're going to have to worry about. So what you want to do now is you want to hit back up here, mod launcher. And right here, you're going to go into the folder where it says mods. And that's where you have all the mods available to you. And all you really have to do in this very little simple step, you can either copy it, you can either drag it directly onto here, or you could copy and paste it, whichever you want. If you want to save the file, you might want to copy and paste. But if you just want to simply drag it over, and that's all you have to do. And what you're going to notice, of course, there's nothing yet. But once you hit reload, now the donut mod is available. All you have to do is simply check it. And from there, all you have to do is make sure that your uh, mod launcher is linked to your Simpsons Hit and Run actual game. Remember, this does not include the full game. This is only for mods. Um, if you do want the full game, you're either going to purchase it or you can acquire it from by other means. <laughs> but once again, you're going to hit launch. I believe mine is already linked to it. Yes, it is. And there you go. That is it.
and it is that easy. Now you have your donut mod available. Now you can just simply resume the game, whatever you were doing. And now all the mods are available as well. So hopefully that was very helpful for you guys. Uh, and hopefully this makes it easier for you guys to download your mods. And now you can join the modding community. Whether you're playing it, whether you're making the mods, you are a part of the modding community. So yeah, there you go. Some simple little gameplay just to show you guys that this is just the, this is the actual mod. As we all know, uh, Homer's car does not have a roof over it. The sedan doesn't have a roof over it. Yeah, I'm a terrible driver right now. All right, well, point has been made. Mod is downloaded. Hopefully, you guys found that helpful. And there you go. If you found this video uh, helpful, hit a like. Leave a comment if there's any additional questions that you have. And I hope you guys have fun with it. Have a great day, and I'll be see you guys in the very next one. Take care.